coming up after this, my mods to the old hickory five and a half inch hunting knife. Stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can make your life a little bit more simpler. I recently did an unboxing of this knife. If you want to see it, there will be a link at the top of the screen and in the description below. In that video, I promised to do a full product review, but after seeing the way it came in the box, I realized that it needed a little loving before I could properly test it. Thus the reason for my mods. Originally, I was gonna do just one video, including both the mods and the full field testing, but soon realized that that video was gonna be a little too long. So I decided to break it down into two videos, but I'll be posting them at the same time. So if you wanna see the full field review, click on the link above or see the description down below. The biggest issue I had with the knife was the factory edge. Testing it, it wouldn't even cut through paper. Here you can see several real problems with the edge. Since the burrs and nicks were so deep, I wanted to do a full resharpen, which of course takes a little while to do. I used my water stones and started with the 250 grit just to rework the entire bevel. After I removed enough metal to get the bevel without any nicks in it, I slowly moved through my stones refining the edge. I used an 800 grit stone, then moved to a thousand grit stone, next 3000, and finally 6000. I bought these stones on Amazon and have only used them a handful of times, so I cannot give my opinion on them yet, but eventually I'll do a full review on them. After I finish with the stones, I use my homemade strop a few times with the green compound for good measure. When I finished, the edge was sharp, but not razor thin. I did that on purpose because for a camp knife, I wanted to have a little bit of beef at the apex so it was able to handle wood processing without easily destroying the edge, chipping, or dulling quickly. The next issue that I noticed was that the 90 degree spine really wasn't that sharp. Actually, it was almost rounded. There was no way it would have been able to strike a ferro rod with the factory edge. So I took a low grit sandpaper and worked the spine to square it off. I used the fingernail test until I got it the way I liked it. Being a 1095 high carbon steel blade, it will rust. And with it being advertised as made for the outdoors, I wanted to put a patina on it to give it a little more protection from the weather. But I wanted it to be a textured patina. So the way I accomplished this was to pour the vinegar over a washcloth and then wrap up the blade. I let it sit for about five minutes and then removed it. I couldn't believe how quickly the steel reacted to the vinegar. I've done different patinas on other blades that I've had to soak for a long time. I'm guessing with these old hickory knives that they're really just a raw chunk of 1095. What I mean is, I really don't think they applied any type of protecting coating on the steel at all. So that is something to keep in mind if you're gonna be in a wet or humid environment. I wiped off the excess vinegar and dried the blade, then put a food grade oil on it to protect the blade from rusting. As always, my choice is olive oil. So those were the mods that I had to do to be prepared for the full field testing. The next couple mods are something I wanted to experiment with. So first, for fun, I pulled out my Dremel tool and attempted to engrave my logo on the opposite handle scale. I will show you my setup to possibly give you ideas if you want to work with your own Dremel and don't have an already established work area. What I did was set up a 4x4 and clamped it down on the counter and then screwed a hanger into it and hung my Dremel on it. Then I attempted to grave my logo. The operative word was attempted. You'll always hear that I'm not a knife maker, just an enthusiast. Well, to make a long story short, it turned out pretty bad, like really bad, like embarrassing bad. But the only way to get better is to try, right? Well, at least that's what I tell myself. Finally, after I tried to put the logo in the handle, I did some wood burning on the handle to give it a little bit more character. I experimented with both a torch and a regular flame lighter to see the contrast and which did a better job. I actually think I like the regular lighter better. It took longer, but it gave me a better look. When it was all said and done, I put a good healthy coat of olive oil on it everywhere. 
wood and all, and worked it in and wiped off the excess. Here is my finalized modded knife, which includes changing the shape of the bevel to give the knife a thicker apex at the tip, a 90 degree sharp spine, a marbled patina on the blade, and an antiquing look to the wood handle with some wood burning. And finally, a pretty bad carved logo in the handle. So there you have it, my modded old hickory hunting knife. I think it's ready to be field tested. If you wanna see the field testing video, at the end of the video, click the link or see the link down in the description. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and then improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.